a graphics card that actually mines Bitcoin. Really? Huge shout out to ASL Miner for sending this over to us today for today's video review. I'm gonna leave links to this directly down below. So first off, I love the whole like wizard Lord of the Rings look to this. It's actually pretty cool. So we have Magic Miner right here on the top. Open it up here. We're gonna turn it this way, kind of get more into the shot. It does have a user manual here. It's got a foam on top. Let's lift this off. Oh man, check this out. This is very, very cool looking. Very GPU mining days reminiscing. So let's get this out of here. It's actually packed in here pretty good. There we go. All right, we'll push that off to the side here. All right, so let's flip this over. There is a little cover on this side. Oh man. <laughs> so this is a Bitcoin miner. It is in, I'm, you like the pauses here? It is in the design, shape, and look of a graphics card, but it is not a graphics card. So this is a solo Bitcoin miner that is tapping into us home GPU miner feels 1000%. I mean, this thing screams a GPU. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at what exactly is going on here. So we have our PCI slot here at the bottom, but you can't pull this off. It just has the look to it. So I wouldn't recommend trying to put this, oh, this does come off here, okay. There's a plastic on here, that's what it is, right here. So there's this like plastic film on the bottom here. It's like a cover. I, I assume it's to not make perfect contact if you were to try to put this into a PCI slot but you could put it in there to rest into a desktop computer um, is what you could do with it. And we have these fans on the front here. This totally has a feel almost as like a Founders Edition look to it. I do like the Magic Miner here. Look, it even has like this, you know how in the Founders Editions we have this like little trim here that kind of goes across the middle of it? It's exactly like that, how like Nvidia does that. Now, we do have an intake on this side here as well as an intake on this side here. And then we actually have a screen, which I'm excited to get this up and running. Uh, I've seen other content creators like Red Panda Mining do a video on this and it looks really slick, black, white and teal look to it. And it is a, an eight pin. I mean, oh man, this is, this is screaming GPU mining right here. Uh, we do have our bracket on the side here with our two holes there as well. Now, because this is a standalone solo Bitcoin miner, it does support wireless and wired. You do, however, have to have it wired first to go ahead and configure it, which makes sense. And then you can go ahead and get the wireless set up. On the back side here, this is actually our exhaust side. So this is actually what's gonna be putting out the heat. And I'm not sure if you guys can read it. I'm gonna get it as close as possible if we can here. It is hash rate seven terahash, plus or minus 10%. And it does do, it does say power consumption 200 watts here but on the website, it does say 150 watts. So we're gonna have to take a closer look. We'll, we'll put it, we'll connect it to a watt meter to find that out. And the exact model is the Magic Miner BG02. So I have a ton of questions about this. One, can I slot this right into any desktop computer and run it? Um, will it be too much heat if I was to put it in like my gaming computer and another one of the PCI slots? Will it produce too much heat? I would imagine as a solo Bitcoin miner, this is gonna put out a significant amount of heat. So I imagine, I don't know, you guys let me know, do you think you could run this in a desktop computer like in one of your other PCI slots? Because it is pretty thick and you'd have to have a full size tower. The other thought was, and I know Red Panda Mining had mentioned this on his video the other day was, could you get a bunch of these and put them in an Octo Miner case? I mean, it's an eight pin, great. Um, even though this is gonna put out a lot of heat, you could go ahead and absolutely use an Octo Miner to just pump the airflow through it. You may actually need a server case to get by with running eight of these in them. So those are some of the questions I have. I imagine though, this is really meant to sit on a desk. It sits perfectly flat as a showpiece. I'm thinking about putting it directly behind me. My biggest challenge is going to be the eight pin here. So. We're gonna to have to hook up additional power supply and is that gonna be loud? You know, those are some things to consider because I love this. Like I love the GPU look to this. This would look perfect on my desk or on a shelf nearby. Uh, but 
let's not waste too much time. Let's get this plugged in. All right, so we do have our Magic Miner BG02 here and a few other items. Now it does come with this adapter cable, which has a six pin to double or double eight pin setup here. We're not gonna use this. I just don't like going that angle. So what we do is I do have an HP server power supply. This is like a refurbished one. You can get off of Amazon. Um, no clue what these go for nowadays, but you can actually get a breakout board here and I'll link both of these down below, which is awesome. So now you can have 1200 Watts and you can plug in all different devices, which works great with a lot of these solo Bitcoin miners. Now we do have a custom cable here. You can get these from uh, the veteran miner. I'll put a link directly down below to the veteran miner store and it just plugs directly in. Now I do have a watt meter here that we're gonna go ahead and gauge how much power this does use. The back of it says 200. The website says, uh, what did that say, uh, 150. Uh, so we're gonna gauge that entirely. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unplug and we're gonna plug in this ethernet cable here that we stole from this test rig back behind me. And there we go, so we're plugged in. We are gonna end up running this on wireless. That's kind of my goal uh, at this point in time. And then I'm gonna take our HP server power supply and we're going to plug this in on the top. Now, it looks like, it looks like this little connector piece here is actually blocking it. What is the even purpose of this thing? Oh, that's from the, uh, the there we go. That's from the actual adapter to go from six to eight how that works, but huh, let me see if I can cut this off to fit this in here. All right, I was able to get everything plugged in. We're plugged into our power supply here. We were able to go ahead and just kind of trim off that little piece there to get everything plugged in. Let's go ahead and there's a power button right here on the front of this. Let's power it on. Ooh, all right, power supply has come on. The fans have powered up. Let's take a look here. We got a little bit of message here. Connect your magic to your network. Welcome to your new magic. So it says, calls it new magic. Okay, wired connection in progress. So I imagine it's booting up and getting an IP address. Check that out, there we go. So 192.168.86.178. And it actually just, dude, this screen, ow, I put my finger. Don't put your finger on the fan. And uh, yeah, that looks awesome. Look at that, it shows the price of Bitcoin on there as well. This very much, is it, is it Argus, Argus? What is it called? Aurorus, Aurorus. Remember the Aurorus GPUs that had these screens on the side here? And look at that, it's actually started hashing already onto someone else's, uh, someone else's Bitcoin address there. But look at that, yeah. So it does give us the IP address, which is nice. So let me go over to the computer and type that in and uh, let's see what all is going on here. While we wait for this thing to boot up, huge shout out once again to ASL Miner for sending us over the Magic Miner BG02 for today's video. So as you can see here, they have it listed at seven terahash at 150 watts. We're gonna take a look in just a minute to see what this actually gets at the wall. In addition to that, there's actually 104 people watching this on their website right now, which is pretty cool. And they have 99 of these in stock at a price of $349. Now, I do have a discount code if you're interested, it saves you about $34 total. You can use the discount code hobbyist and I'll link that directly down below with the link and the discount code down below if you guys are interested, but make sure you guys do your own research and maybe decide by the end of today's video. So let's go ahead and jump over and take a look at the GUI. I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh it. And this looks very familiar. So this looks very similar to like a Bitax GUI. Uh, this may very much be the case. I know this is becoming more and more popular of utilizing that original OS. Um, but yeah, this looks really attractive and really cool looking. Um, it is not on my address yet. We're going to set that up in just a minute. Right now, it just broke over 7 terahash. And it does say the power is 136 watts. We're going to test that at the wall here in just a minute. And it looks like it's actually on via BTC currently right now is how it's actually set up. So we have Swarm on the side, which shows you other miners on the network. Uh, it does have the network tab as well, where you can set up, this is where you'd set up your SSID. Uh, I'll do that offline, but this is where you can actually connect to that SSID on the right-hand side there. Uh, pool settings, here we have it configured for via BTC, 
for solo mining. Uh, they do have it listed there and they have a fallback pool as well, which is never a bad idea. Clicking into settings, this is where you can adjust your frequencies. Right now it's at 600 by 1250. So we do have the opportunity to overclock this, especially if you run this in a cooler environment. You can just select the drop down and select exactly where you do want to run it, which is nice. Oh, you can flip the screen as well based off of how you have this set up. And there is a log section as well where you can look into the logs. So what I'm going to do is go into pool settings and we're going to set this up on brains. I have all of my solo miners over here on brains. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and you just get to it solo.brains.com. We're going to come back over here and it doesn't want all the other information. So we're going to get rid of that at the beginning and the 3333, which is the port 3333. They don't want that either. And then for the user address, we're actually going to go ahead and use my Bitcoin wallet address. All right, paste it in my Bitcoin wallet address. We're going to put a dot and we're going to name this here the BG. I want to call it something like, you know what? No, we're going to call it wizard, <laughs> the wizard miner. Um, and then pass, we're just going to put an X and let's go ahead and click save. And we're going to restart the miner. All right, let's give this a few minutes. And when we come back, we'll see the hash rate as well as the Watts at the wall. All right, we've been up and mining for a few minutes now on brains. And if I didn't say enough earlier, this is a solo Bitcoin miner. I'm not really going to recommend pool mining with this. Can you pool mine with this? Yes. Is it gonna be worth it? I would say no. But the nice thing is you have choice as a home miner. You can pick and choose how you wanna mine. That's one of the massive benefits. So let's go ahead and take a look here. As I said, we've been up and mining on my address for several minutes now. Let's see, we have our Bitcoin price and the local IP address on my network. Come on, it'd be nice if it was like touchscreen. You could, there we go. So we're at 6.6, 6.7. Uh, so we're right around, I've seen it go actually as high as eight. Uh, so the, the hash rate does fluctuate quite a bit there. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at Watts at the wall. Advertised was 150 on the back of it says 200 and we're at 181.5. So right pretty much in the middle there is where we're coming in at. And that really comes down to that plus or minus that we talked about earlier. Listen guys, huge shout out to the team over at ASL Miner for sending us over the Magic Miner BG02 for today's video and review. I think in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing apart because I'm very curious to see how similar it is to a GPU or how similar it is to a lot of these solo Bitcoin miners out there. Leave your thoughts and feelings directly down below. Seven terahash. What is that? 181.5 watts. What are your thoughts? What do you think about the Magic Miner BG02? Have a good one.